Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Aero Deep Outdoors. Today we are going to review the Bear Adapt. And I'm going to tell you guys why this bad boy right here is one of the best budget bows in the industry right now. You're probably thinking, what's the specs on it, Patrick? What's the ATA? What's the let off? All those numbers, dimensions, you know, all the stuff that I do not have written down because I'm a grab the bow and if it shoots good, then I'm going to take it type of guy. So take it for what it's worth. This is a honest review from an everyday blue collar dad that just likes to get in the tree stand and get the job done. And I ain't trying to look pretty doing it. So. The Bear Adapt, where do I even start? Now, before I even get into this review, please subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you to all my subscribers and thank you for sharing the station. Love you guys, it means the world to me. So, about six years ago, I actually started with the Bear Bow and I was impressed then and I still am now. Um, I feel like Bear is undervalued, but most of all, underappreciated. You know, kind of like they're the little brother that gets shoved to the side. But I'm here to tell you right now that the little brother is running with the big dogs now. Bear has made a lot of strides in these last couple years. And they are without a doubt one of the most impressive compound bows in the industry. And this right here is a budget friendly, ready to hunt package. Um, I got the ready to hunt because who doesn't want extra accessories because if mine break then I have backup stuff so you got to think ahead now um one of the things that really impressed me about this bear adapt is the draw cycle it's actually pretty smooth now it's not as smooth as some of the flagship bows you have to remember it's a budget friendly bow so it's not going to have all that crazy fancy stuff that you know Matthews Hoyt Prime and all those other makes have but for the price, man, you just can't beat it. Um, especially if you're like me and you know you got kids and you work a lot and you don't want to spend a ton of money. This fits the bill every time. And it's made in America. It doesn't get better than that. So looking over it, you know, the cams are clean. It's got nice limbs, clean limb pockets, beautiful fit and finish. And the bow grip, man, is just amazing. I love the grip they use. It's like a rubber grip, so it keeps your hand warm. So when it's hanging in the tree stand with you and you go to shoot, you're not touching a cold riser. Not that that matters. I've shot off the riser before, fine. It's not a deal breaker. But um, yeah, back to what I was saying, the draw cycle is actually pretty smooth. Um, the back wall I like, the back wall is pretty solid. It's not spongy. Um, what else here? It is a touch loud. It is louder than some other bows, but I'm not overthinking it because when you're in a tree stand, most of the time the arrow's already through them by the time they hear it. I mean, there's nothing fancy. It's straight to the point. It's solid. It's a 32 ATA. It goes all the way out, I think, to a 31 draw length. So I have mine at 67 pounds, 30 and a half draw, and that arrow is cruising. I have no problems with it. Um, it is just a shooter. I shot all the way out to 60 yards shooting darts. Um, so when I got the bow, I took the accessories off. I put all my accessories on, vapor trail, limb driven rest, black gold sight, and just some old stabilizer I had, and took it to Lancaster Archery, and two of my good buddies in there, they got it timed up for me. We got her tuned, shot it through paper, bullet holes after like one or two shots with me shooting it and the technician, and it was ready to go. Got it sighted in at the range there at 20 yards. Went outside, sighted it to 50 yards. Didn't even have to change my sight tape either from my old sight, which is uh, a win for me. So whole point is that this bow was easy to tune. It just shoots great. Um, 
I, I just don't know what else to say about it. I mean, for a budget friendly bow, you're getting one hell of a package and the accessories that come with it. The sight is awesome. The rest is pretty solid. The stabilizer is kind of eh, 50, 50, but if you're someone that that's the only accessories you have, that's all you need. You don't need a fancy Hoyt Matthews or prime to go out there in the range and shoot just like everybody else. Hell, I outshot some of these other guys with flagship bows with this bad boy right here, but that's because I'm a good shot. Um, I ain't boasting either. I'm just confident. Um, so anyways, uh, I, I, I just, I can't, stress enough about you know bear archery they are just overlooked and i don't know why people kind of just brush them off when they make a solid product uh, i don't know much about their customer service but from what i heard they have great customer service so that's always a plus but yeah you get a really nice quiver the quiver is pretty solid and it's going to shoot darts tune easy fairly quiet good draw cycle solid back wall Look at the Bear Adapt, and I didn't just buy this because the whole hunt in public and ranch fairy thing, you know, that that's fine. I appreciate what they're doing with Bear. That's that's great that they, they all got together and created a phenomenal product. I got this because I wanted something simple just to get in the tree stand and shoot some deer, but get to the range and, you know, get my reps in and have fun. Like I said, I'm an everyday dad, so, you know, us parents we don't have a whole ton of money so i wanted something that was gonna fit the bill and get the job done just a fantastic and beautiful bow um 32 ata 80 85 percent let off i believe i think the draw length goes up to 31 i think i already said that i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself it's got a beautiful bow grip you can actually take it off if you want it has these little little allen bolts there um i might put a couple dampeners on it like i said but overall I give it an 8 out of 10, just a badass, ready-to-hunt package that'll uh, fit the bill for deer hunting, bear hunting, turkey, whatever your heart desires. With that being said, I appreciate you guys watching today. Got a lot of good content coming in the future. Um, so again, smash the like button, subscribe, share the station with your friends, your family, your co-workers, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.